Hello everyone, my name is Ian and you're watching Big Rock Moto. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you're new here and you like this kind of content, I hope you'll consider subscribing. In today's video, we are going to take a first look, a first impressions of the new Tusk 2-Track Adventure Tire. Now, full disclosure, like I always try to do, I am an affiliate of Rocky Mountain ATV MC, meaning that if you use any of my links uh, to buy parts and riding gear from them, uh, I do receive a small commission on certain items, but not every item. I reinvest those commissions back into content creation here on the channel and help support independent motorcycle journalism. So if that's something you'd like to do, then I really appreciate that. If not, that's okay too, no hard feelings. Um, that being said, even though I do have the affiliate program, you guys know I'm very honest with my reviews here on the channel and my credibility is very important to me. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is we'll take a look at the two track tires, we're going to mount them up on a Transalp, we'll go out for a ride and we'll just give you the first impressions. This is not a long term review, this is just a first ride impressions. Uh, I can't talk about longevity, although I think longevity is probably going to be pretty good looking at the tread depth and the, the hardness of the rubber. Uh, I can't talk about some of the long-term durability aspects, but we're going to do our best to take a look. And uh, again, if you'd like to purchase a set of these to try them out, um, they're extremely affordable, around 200 bucks a set for adventure tires. That's pretty uh, phenomenal. Um, if you'd like to try them out, use my link. It helps support the channel. All right, so let's take a look. So here's the rear tire here. You can see the tread pattern. It's definitely reminiscent of a lot of the uh, other adventure tires out there. Um, I like the look of it. Uh, I think, you know, it looks to me like it's going to perform pretty well on and off road. The rubber is pretty hard and the tread depth is very deep. And if you want to really geek out on like tread depth and hardness, I'd recommend checking out my friend Kyle. Uh, he has a channel. He goes by mini bikes on Instagram. Uh, he's Kyle Bradshaw on YouTube. He does tire testing and he gets into all the details of that so he's probably better to answer that stuff than me here's the front tire pattern it's kind of this chevron pattern um looks like the knobs have pretty good support they're kind of tied together so hopefully they'll be pretty good in corners um yeah so there's a set of tires now let me grab the rear tire and let's go compare it to the motaz rowels that i have on the trans up right now So my Rouse is, you know, yeah, it's about half worn here. Um, here's the comparison to the tusks. So, you know, kind of a similar type of deal. I think this is going to be comparable, -ish, maybe in theory anyway, to performance of some of the Motaz tires. And the tread depth's definitely there. Now let's take a look at it compared to some other tires that I have. So... Let me grab the front tire here. So here's our Tusk tires. Here's an Anarchy Wild Michelin, which is one of my favorite tires. You can see the comparison. This has deeper tread, and the blocks are kind of bigger in the middle. Uh, so there's the Anarchy Wild. Here's the Bridgestones. Uh, these are AX41s, which are really awesome tires. They just don't last long at all. So there's kind of some comparisons you can see. Here's the factory Transalp tire, which I don't use because they just don't perform off-road. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mount these up. Uh, I'm going to use my Rabiconda tire changer. I'll link this here below too. This has saved me thousands of dollars because I change, you know, at least, well, I change sets of tires like every week or something because I'm doing all these bike tests. So this saves me so much time and money. Highly recommend picking these up. They have a street version. This is the dirt version. I want, I'm going to get the new street version too. So let me get these mounted up. Um, we'll kind of check in during that process and then we'll go out for a ride. Okay, I've got the front two track mounted. I'm doing this video at the same time. I'm doing the tubeless conversion with the Altex kit for the Transalp. So keep that in mind. That's also playing in here. But I found the tire to be quite stiff. I did let it sit in the sun for a while. It was a very, for a front tire, this was one of the stiffest that I've had to mount. So I don't know, keep that in mind. It's not really a bad thing. It's just if you're going to mount your own tires, you know, something to to be aware of. Seems like a pretty stiff carcass. So uh, anyway, I'm going to try to air this up with a new tubeless system, which I have my doubts that that's even going to work because I think I messed it up. Anyway, and then we'll check back in a bit. Here's the rear two-track tire mounted up with the Rabiconda. This rear tire it was stiff. It's a stiff sidewall. It's, you know, just, it's kind of a bear to put on, even with good tire irons and the tire changer and stuff. 
So you can keep that in mind. Uh, now I am running at a tubeless conversion on the Transalp, which I'm filming that video at the same time as I'm doing this. So to air these up, you kind of got to get the bead popped on. Since there's no tube now in these, uh, you can't you know use the tube to inflate. So uh, you got to like get a quick blast of air to kind of pop that bead on. So you need like a pretty big compressor if you're going to do this kind of stuff at home. So I'm going to finish getting this aired up, uh, have some lunch, and then uh, we'll take a look at the bike once all the tires are mounted back up. All right, well, I've got the tires all mounted up. I've got the tubeless stuff sorted out, I hope, fingers crossed. Uh, let's go take a ride uh, and see how these two track tires feel. We can talk about, you know, how they feel on the highway. We'll hit some twisties, do some straight roads. We'll get into the dirt. We'll hit the sand wash. We'll see how they feel out there. I mean, the tread design is really promising. So I've got the tire pressures at 32 in the front, 36 in the back, which is what I've been running on my Motaz tires uh, for this bike on and off road. So I'm going to kind of stick to that. Uh, I've got my Instacam there, 360. We can get a little footage uh, once we get out into the dirt. So let's... So you probably can't hear it on the video, but they do have a hum to them. I mean, they're a knobby tire. I expect that they're going to have uh, some road noise, but I would say, you know, the noise is for a tire like this, like average or maybe a little bit quieter than average. But keep in mind, the tires are brand new. So I don't know what the noise is going to do as they, as they wear. We don't know that yet. Some tires like this, when they get like more worn down they get super super loud so i don't know what the what the tusks are going to do in that regard all right let's break these tires in on some dirt so we'll head to my usual testing area here up the fire road uh, and then we'll hit the sand wash maybe after that You know, they feel pretty good so far. I got to tell you, this track to suspension is really good. Let's head over into the sand. I think the sand will be a better test. Usually there's a couple situations that challenge these adventure tires. Well, one is stability on the highway, you know, uh, deep sand, deep mud. We don't really have any mud right now. So we'll have to wait on that, but we do have plenty of deep sand here. So let's do this while we have a little bit of this straighter section here. Let's get up to about 50 in the dirt and do some panic braking and see how the tires kind of hook up under braking. They feel pretty grippy so far. I mean, they have good traction to accelerate, so let's go about 50, panic brake, whoa. Yeah, I mean, they feel about how I would expect. I. I mean, my initial impression is they don't quite feel as grippy or as secure as the Motaz tires do out here in the dirt, but they did feel better and quieter on the highway. So, you know, this is very, very early, but that's kind of what I feel right now. Let's do a little bit of skidding. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> this bike is so much this is, bike is a riot <laughs> all right well i did ride through some mud when i had the camera off and i mean it felt fine i don't have a lot of mud riding experience i don't ride in mud a lot around southern california we don't get a ton of muddy situations so i don't have a ton of experience with different tires in the mud but they they seem fine to me. Overall, they're kind of performing uh, pretty good, I have to say. But uh, the sand wash is going to be a good challenge. This is what really separates the men from the boys, so they say. Yeah, I mean, so in the sand wash here, 
hopefully we're getting some good footage of the rear tire. I mean, it's definitely doable in sand. It's not, they don't feel as good as the Motaz Rail Z in my opinion, in the sand, but that's a pretty aggressive tire. And Motaz tires are really, really good. It's tough competition. But I'd be happy with this. I mean, for an adventure bike, this is a pretty challenging situation, riding in the sand here on a big 500 uh, pound adventure bike. And these tires seem to be doing pretty good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I can accelerate. They feel a bit, a bit washy, uh, but all, all tires do when you're in deep sand like this. Let's go up this thing. Yeah. <laughs> let's kind of, uh, let's kind of stop and see if we have enough traction to get going. Yeah, I mean, we do. Need to find a place to turn around up here. I mean, you can see, hopefully, that this is some pretty deep stuff. So I don't know. I mean, woo! <laughs> Yeehaw! Uh, this trans Alps pretty impressive, honestly. Yeah, they, they don't have the stability of the Motaz Rousey that I was running before, but they're not too far. They're not too far off of that, honestly. <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> so what I can tell you is I, I don't feel like I'm being held back at all by the tires at all. You know, it's just down to my riding ability, which is not that high. And then, you know, kind of the characteristics of this motorcycle being kind of soft and kind of low, low slung to the ground and the handling that it has. But I don't feel limited really by these tires interesting there all right oh okay that's a big one whoa this is really rutted out well here's an idea for a test let's give this thing full power acceleration zero to 70 miles an hour or about 110 kilometers an hour see if the traction control kicks in at all full power Oh, this bike's quick. Um, yeah, the traction control was flashing, but it's a pretty powerful bike, about 85 horsepower. Trans Alps faster than people think, and uh, I kind of expected that, but yeah, the traction control kicked in. Let's do that again. And it's totally not because I just like to hear this, this bike accelerate. Totally not that at all. Dang. Well, they feel super stable. So let's do braking from like 75. <sighs> yeah, I mean, they feel pretty good under braking, honestly, for a knobby tire. Let's do it again. emergency stop yeah you know they feel pretty good they don't stop like a road tire um, they definitely take longer but they don't feel unstable my ABS is definitely kicking in emergency stop yeah I mean they're fine I mean, accelerating the bike pretty hard through these twisties. I don't see the traction control light blinking. I think I got them to step out a little bit there. 
but most people aren't going to be this hard on the throttle at these lean angles on an adventure bike with knobby tires so let's do some braking in the middle of a corner yep feels fine way so in my part of the world the freeways have these uh these grooves cut in them for water dispersion they call them rain grooves and adventure tires like this will often uh, have a severe wobble on the freeway because they're trying to like uh, track the rain grooves uh, but i feel very little of that i don't know if you can see my handlebar is not moving at all it's perfectly perfectly still at 80 miles an hour I'll try to ride through some of these bigger like cracks in the in the in the road here like right here yeah so when you hit the crack you can feel a little bit of like a uh, little bit of a, a wobble there but I mean pretty much any tire is going to do that but so the rain groove performance on the freeway here at 80 miles an hour seems to be really really good for an adventure style knobby tire uh, definitely better than a lot of its competition so I'm really really happy to see this and the actually the whole experience of buzzing down the freeway 80 on these tires is really pretty good for such an aggressive off-road tire they don't seem to have excessive noise and I feel good stability out of the bike I'm very comfortable cruising along you see how there's a big crack in the concrete right there so I'm gonna try to show you but if I cross this crack you see I don't know if you saw but like right there like going back and forth so when I cross when I kind of hit that that I get the whole bike kind of does a little bit of a shimmy um, I mean it, it doesn't always do it but I noticed earlier when I was like passing like aggressively passing traffic uh, like on a two-lane road and accelerating the bike hard up to like 80 or 90 and I hit some like cracks in the in the pavement the bike would kind of do a little bit of a, of a shimmy yeah see it's not really doing it right now of course because I'm trying to film it but that is a weakness that, that these have but it's also kind of something that a lot of these knobby tires will do uh, on the highway sometimes so just be aware of that all right, well, I've put uh, 400 to 500 miles on these tires in the past two days. I spent today filming the uh, touring test or the long range test of the Transalp. Uh, you know, sometimes things seem too good to be true. Um, with these tires, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't find too much I don't like about them. They're not perfect. They're not quite as good as some of the Motaz tires and others in the dirt. And on the street, I do notice my traction control lights up quite a bit. Um, and I showed, you know, a few other nitpicks with them. But gosh, I'm I'm pretty impressed. And you guys know I'm honest. Like if I didn't like them, I would just tell you or I wouldn't do the video or I wouldn't publish a video. Um, I'm really impressed. I have a prediction that these are going to become one of the most, if not the most popular adventure tires here in the USA where you can get stuff from Rocky Mountain anyway. Uh, because of their combination of on-road and off-road performance, relatively quiet, uh, affordable, I mean super affordable. So I don't know, it seems like uh, Tusk uh, may have hit a home run here. Time will tell and this is just a first impression so you know we're going to have to get more miles out there with riders testing these tires to really see. Uh, so again, take it with a grain of salt, first impressions, first couple days, but I'm super, super impressed. The only thing I ask from you all, if you're going to buy a set of these, please use my affiliate links below, please, uh, it helps support the channel. Um, hope this was useful. Thanks so much for watching, ride safe, and I'll see you out there.